So the government of Ghana sent some students to Morocco to go and learn on scholarship. According to these students, they are brilliant but needy students that the government sent them to Morocco to learn on scholarship. Now these students are supposed to receive some stipends or some money that will support their stay in Morocco while they do their studies. And for the past 10 months or so, the government has failed or is not able to pay those monies to them to support their stay. And these students are stranded. And they have this message to the president. Let's listen to them. To As ladies here in this country, we are not even able to afford like the basic needs, sanitary pads, and the ways of it all is like your parents will send you money and it gets here it's nothing you can't even take us as people why should you leave your country and come to this place and suffer but it's not our fault we we're sent here by the government on a scholarship brilliant but needy students the people you see behind me are people from very needy homes and they got a government scholarship to come and stay now it has been more, more than 10 months, we are going to the 11th month without our stipends. We live in a country where rent is $120 per month. That's the cheapest you can get at a place without security. But we managed to live there because even the stipends we are having is not enough. Now, it has been almost 11 months without the stipends. The question is, how do we survive? Our landlords are chasing us from, from, from our apartments. Some of us are sleeping with our friends. Some of us are sleeping outside. Imagine sending your daughter to an Islamic country to come and study for 10 months without sending him money to pay his rent. How do you want us to survive? There are people having debts and they are, they are chasing them. And people are depressed. This is what we are going through. Our lives are in danger. We are begging you wherever you are. Mr. President, we are begging you. If you don't come in, there will be blood on your hands. They are begging you. If we don't get paid in less than one week, there will be blood on your hands. I can feel the pain these students are going through. Yes, I can feel it. And I know any Ghanaian will uh, equally feel the pain of these students. Yes, but it's unfortunate. Uh, it, it might, it might not even, this video might not even get to the president or the people that are supposed to see it because these people are busy doing campaign for their elections they are busy busy everywhere trying to uh, convince people and then get their votes so it's going to be tough for them it's unfortunate that you guys are going through this and we those in the country said the government has already seen enough blood they have had had enough blood in their hands but it has not moved them understand so it's un it's unfortunate that you guys are going through this and uh, we sympathize with you and we hope that the government of ghana would actually see this your video and then act on it but at the look of things the way they are busy with their campaigns every day everywhere and here is going to be tough and we are sincerely sorry that you guys are going through this in these times so let's hope for the better yeah